The Houston Rockets haven't made the most of being the hosts in their recent stretch of six games. They managed only two wins and suffered four defeats, with their latest match against the Minnesota Timberwolves resulting in a clear loss. The Houston Rockets entered this season with modest ambitions. The reality is that the team from Texas does not have playoff quality, but they persistently deny it game after game. The most responsible for the excellent games of the Houston Rockets since the beginning of the season is Alperen Sengun, who improved much faster than expected and grew into one of the best centers in the league. His games gain even more importance, given that the team is also playing very well. The arrival of Fred VanVleet turned out to be another good move by the Houston Rockets, so this team is currently one of the most interesting in the entire league. They can beat anyone, but they can also lose to anyone. Despite the excellent results, the Houston Rockets are a team that is not so talented offensively. VanVleet is playing superbly, but for a bigger breakthrough. Additional quality is needed in the backcourt positions, primarily in the offensive sets, which the Houston Rockets currently do not have. Milwaukee Bucks entered this duel in a good mood, given that they beat the San Antonio Spurs 125, 121. That mood isn't so good though, as one of the league's worst teams put up a big fight. Giannis Antetokounmpo shown with 44 points, 14 rebounds and seven assists, while Damian Lillard added 25 points. The Milwaukee Bucks are currently second in the Eastern Conference with a record of 25-10. After the Milwaukee Bucks won the NBA title, there was saturation and it was clear that the same team could not repeat the success, so a change was needed. The big change happened in the form of the arrival of Damian Lillard in the preseason in a trade, which was one of those that marked the summer. Despite the fact that at the beginning of Lillard's tenure, they played a bit weaker. As time passed, this team became better and more powerful offensively. That was the case until this game, when Adrian Griffin's team showed some visible weaknesses. It's about defensively against one of the worst offensive teams. A more casual approach to the game could have cost the Milwaukee Bucks, and they will have to respect each rival equally. If they relax, as they did this time, it can end badly. They played one duel this season, in which the Milwaukee Bucks won 128-119. Absences and injuries. The Houston Rockets are without Victor Oladipo and Dylan Brooks, and Tari Eason is questionable. Jay Crowder is unavailable, and Chris Middleton is questionable for the visitors. The Milwaukee Bucks show that they have weaknesses in the game against the San Antonio Spurs. While the Houston Rockets play very well this season and are certainly a team that can hurt a better position rival. However, precisely because of the guests' performance in the introduction before this duel, we cannot say with certainty that the Milwaukee Bucks could win. And another reason is the relatively close first duel between the two teams this season. On the other hand, both teams are extremely offensive oriented, so our suggestion is that the total number of points will be higher than the offered limit. Our prediction is over 236.5 points. Yeah, I will be